Hello there, Codemaker4 here. Um, this is the Scrap Mechanic computer. It's a proof of concept computer, not this simple, but especially for the time I uploaded it, the most capable computer inside of Vanilla Scrap Mechanic I've seen. I couldn't find any other computers and I was honestly disappointed. Um, it works, slash used to work. I, I, I literally just noticed this, but it, it, it just doesn't work anymore. If you turn it on, it, it, it will try to do some st stuff and it's actually most of this correctly. And then it just stops randomly. Um, this probably has to do with some updates or something. But I don't know why. Anyways, I wanted to create a counting program so I could compare the speed of this computer to a new computer I created because it is actually faster than the old computer um, next to being way more capable. Um, so let me just quickly start the counting program. I did in fact command it to reset because believe it or not this isn't the first take. Yes, now it's going to reset. And now it's going to start counting, so we were at 1, but now we are at number 2, and this should be number 3. So this computer can in fact count, and it does it uh, a bit faster than the older computer. Um, and it, it's very technical about why it's faster, because technically it is basically the same computer. In fact, you would think it's... Uh, slower than the old computer because honestly it has to do more. Anyways, let's stop this to make sure that it don't get launched by spot gun or rain. So, um, the old computer could only add and that was very limiting as I noticed quickly. So this computer can add, it can subtract, it can aunt or um, XOR, NAND, NOR, NEXOR, just invert one of the inputs without caring about the other. It can uh, shift to left, shift to the right, it can flip a bit, it can delete the most significant part of a bit, the amount of bits can be specified in binary, it even has a randomizer inside of there, and you can compare two numbers to, the, to each other to see which number is greater than the other, or the other way around. You can even uh, check for some other things like did I receive an internet signal, uh, is something working or not. It's great. This computer can do a lot, um, but that's just the AOU, and it also add a fully working internet system in these 5 bytes, and in this area over here. Uh, that's why there's, believe it also, a GUI in here, so you can easily start developing some code for that. Um, what the computer also has is a whopping 256 bytes of timer memory. Uh, of course, next to the 64 bytes of regular RAM in here, um, and yeah, you can use it for all kinds of stuff. And it's all it, it's it's all in here. On the terribly slow, of course, because it's time memory, but it works and it doesn't lag. Um, and we also have a stack. Um, for those who've been following my channel longer, of course, uh, they may have noticed that. Uh, this memory chip is actually exactly identical to the one uh, used for the main memory in the old computer. You may also recognize the glass in here, because yes indeed, I did use the exact same blueprint and just put it in here. Um, so that's nice. Uh, a stack is just a different form of memory that is being accessed in a different way. Um, but the most interesting thing in this computer, I believe, is that the program is no longer stored in a form of read-only memory, uh, in the case of the old computer being a paintable physical card. In the new computer, the program is actually stored in RAM, uh, and that's why I needed so much of it. Um, and this allows for a lot of things to happen, um, like you can do some fancy programming tricks, including a double reference, as I call it, which was impossible on the old computer, um, and you can do some other fancy programming tricks, but what you can also do, which is big, you can 
make a program to load another program from the internet or uh, the a timer memory and when it, the computer is done executing that program it's going to be back to first program in memory and taking some more program to load into the second program in memory then execute the second program and then go back to the first program it's actually you can actually create an OS for this uh, I even created I already created a demo program where you can literally program the computer from the user IO without having to be near the dangerous spot guns going around at flying around at near light speed um, so this computer is very capable uh, so of course to explain on this I'm not going to do it in one full video because it's going to take many many hours and honestly I'm too lazy to do it all in one day so I'm gonna uh, spread the work out, uh, spread, spread the workload a bit for me and probably also for you. I'm gonna split every bit of knowledge in this computer in its own separate video to make sure that you can easily find stuff, of course, but also to make sure that it's easy for even for beginner programs to start programming this computer. Because I did need to create a, I created a website which I can't show because of my terrible video recorder called Windows Game Bar. Yes. Um, uh, I, I created a uh, website where you can literally program the uh, computer in relatively human-friendly language instead of uh, this terrible binary that even I sometimes don't understand. Um, and then it creates a generated QR code which you can scan with your phone and then on your phone you will be able to see the binary uh, stuff that you need to enter so even if you don't have a second monitor it's very easy to program this computer because you can just use your phone as a second monitor it's genius um, so I'm going to explain all of that in separate videos uh, for now I am Codemaker4 and uh, go watch those videos, go to my discord server for all your questions and uh, I'll be there too, some other people who are more experienced with these computers will be there I'm Codemaker4, all links are in the description, bye!